This video is sponsored by Cadeco.com. Hey everyone, this is Vegetarian Zombie here from Learn Create Play with another quick video on learning C Sharp in the context of Unity. This is a course that aims to teach you the C Sharp language, even if you have zero programming experience. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking the like button, and of course, feel free to subscribe for more Unity content. In the last episode, we learned about if statements. They allow you to make branching choices in your code. But what about when you want to assign a value? For a conditional value, you use a ternary operator. This is kind of a weird one, so stay with me. Think of this like an if statement. So here we are defining a variable. Now we want to determine how much of a bonus the player should receive. If the player managed to kill 60 monsters in a limited time frame, they'll get a thousand points. Like an if statement, we put our condition in a pair of parentheses. Now we need to provide the outcome. In the first case, we'll give the player an additional thousand points. The first case is indicated by a question mark. Then we provide the value. Then we provide the value in the case that the condition has failed. In this case, we'll assign zero points. So if more than 60 monsters are killed, the bonus equals a thousand. Otherwise, it equals zero. You can easily write this out as an if statement like so. This does the same exact thing, except the ternary operator is shorter and concise. And being an operator, you can even pass it into functions. For example, let's return to our number guesser. During the call to random.range, we might do this. In this case, if is hard is true, the player must guess between 1 and 1000. Otherwise, the selection becomes 1 to 100. Personally, I don't like using ternary operators like that. It makes the code harder to understand at a glance. Instead, I'd assign the result to a variable and pass it in. One last thing. You can actually nest ternary operators. This is dark magic, and I highly avoid you do this, or if you do, only nest one level of ternary operators. Here's an example. In this case, if is hard is true, the highest number is a thousand. If it isn't true, then the score is evaluated. If the player's score is negative, meaning they lost a lot, then the next highest number is set to 10 to make it easier. Otherwise, it defaults to 100. Now, in my own code, I defer to an if statement like this. As you can tell, I prefer clarity over being concise in a lot of cases. Oftentimes, you'll be returning to your code months down the line after you've forgotten everything. Personally, I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what I had coded. I would rather add features and fix bugs. That benefits players. You can have the slickest looking code but it means nothing if you can't understand what you wrote months or years later. Okay, now that you have an understanding of ternary operators, let's put them to use. But before we do that, here's a message from my sponsor, Kadeco.com. Kadeco is a site for developers made by developers. With hundreds of instructors from around the world, you can learn about topics such as native iOS development, native Android development, and even multi-platform development with Flutter. Kadeco also features hundreds of free articles, including topics on game development covering both Unity and Unreal. As a pro subscriber, you can access a library of thousands of videos on a range of development topics. The curated learning paths are designed to teach the basics of development in a friendly and supportive way. Pro subscribers also have complete access to all the books at Kadeco, such as the Unity Apprentice, that aims to teach you Unity by creating a series of different games. Get started on your programming journey today by heading on over to Kadeco.com. Okay, here we are back in Unity where we last left off. Create a script and call it my ternary. Attach it to our favorite text game object, making sure to remove the previous script. Open the script in your editor. Let's set this up to use in our test project.
return back to the Unity Editor, and configure the text to be displayed. We've done this multiple times throughout the course. In this case, we'll use the show message method. Okay, let's imagine we have a two-player game. The game should read Ready Player 1 when it is the first person's turn, and Ready Player 2 when it is the second player's turn. Head back to your code and then add the following. The current player is the player number, whereas the message is what we want to print out to the screen. Add the following. Here the ternary statement checks to see if the current player is 1, and thus it sets the string to player 1. Otherwise, it sets the string to player 2. Mind you, if you have more than two players, this could be a bug. Okay, now print it out. Add the following. Here we set the text. We put a dollar sign before the string to allow us to add our variable directly into the string, and this is known as string interpolation. We must surround our variable with braces. And that's it. Switch back to Unity. Set the player to 1 and run the game. Press the button. We get Ready Player 1. Set to Player 2. Press the button. We get Ready Player 2. Awesome work. Now comes the time to put your knowledge to the test. I want you to alter the script. I want you to determine whether the current player number is even or odd. The message should say X is even if it's even or X is odd if it's odd. That is, 1 is odd and 2 is even and so forth. Use a ternary operator to produce the message. As a hint, remember the modulus operator gives us the remainder of a division operation. We can use this to determine even or odd numbers. So to tell an even number, you would write current number modulus 2 equals 0. If it doesn't equal 0, it's an odd number. Pause the video now and try it out. How'd that go? Let's walk through it. Open up the script and in check message, delete everything. First, let's get our number status. Add the following. Here we check to see if the current player modulus 2 is 0. If it is, the number is even. Otherwise, it's odd. Now to print out the message. Here we use string interpolation to print out the message. Save the script and head back to Unity. Set the current player to 1. Run the game. Press the button. The number is odd. Now set it to 2. Press the button. And the number is even. Now try some crazy number, press the button, and enjoy the result. Great work.